Hi friends, my name is Rohan Bharachandra. On the request of large number of channel members, we are making this video on whether three popular stocks are still fundamentally strong. That is Tata Alexi, CDSL, IRCTC. Watch this video completely so that you get an idea about what decisions you can take. These three stocks are very popular among retail investors and performed very well in 2020 and 21. However, they have underperformed in 2022 and many investors are currently facing a notional loss in their investment in these companies. So let us briefly examine whether their fundamentals are intact so that it will help investors take the decision on what to do with the stocks they hold. First company, Tata LXC. July to September 2021, total sales 595 crores, October to December 2021, 635 crores, then 2022, March 682 crores, June 2022, 726 crores, and September 2022, 763 crores. Net profit 125 crores, 151 crores, 160 crores, 185 crores, and 174 crores. If you see here, the sales has been increasing consistently and the net profit has also been increasing except for the last quarter. So why Tata LXC shares have fallen? Number one, lower than expected quarterly profit. Although the September 2022 quarter results were quite good, it was below expectations since Tata LXC had been doing very well over the last few quarters. The net profit growth was good compared to September 2021 However, compared to June 2022, it was marginally lower. Its profit margin has fallen in the September 2022 quarter. Since the profit had been growing continuously for almost 6 quarters, a small fall in profit in September 2022 quarter has been seen negatively by investors. Point number 2. Negative effect of high valuation. Tata LXC was trading at P ratio of around 99 in August 2022. Usually when valuations are high, it means investors are expecting high growth in revenue and profits. Even if there is a marginal fall in the business, then investors find a reason to do profit booking. Now after so much of fall, the PE ratio is around 58. It is still high compared to the sector PE ratio of 33. Many brokerage companies have given a sell rating for the stock due to expected slowdown in Tata Alexi's business in Europe and US because of recession. However, the overall fundamentals of the company still look quite strong, although there could be weakness in the business in the short term due to recession or slowdown. This Sunday, we have a free webinar on our stock market online course in Canada. This webinar will give you all details about our course on fundamental analysis, technical analysis and overall financial planning. If you want to plan for your children's education, children's marriage, retirement, to purchase your own house, you need to invest correctly in the stock market. Our workshop will be the basic fundamentals for you to develop more knowledge about stock markets. The webinar is on 15 January Sunday, 10.45 am to 1 pm. It will be online. To receive the link for the free webinar, please email successdigest at gmail.com with your name and mobile number and email subject as Canada webinar. Now moving on to the second company, CDSL. I am covering the last 5 quarter financials. I am just reading the total sales. 146 crores, 152 crores, 137 crores, 140 crores, 149 crores. So somewhat it has been dull and flat for the last 5 quarters. Net profit 86 crores, 84 crores, 78 crores, 58 crores and 80 crores. So here also profit has been almost the same in all the quarters except one quarter it was significantly lesser. Sales figures have been quite flat in the last 5 quarters, net profit also marginally fallen on a quarter on quarter basis. CDSL as you know is a cyclical business. It depends heavily on number of new DMAT accounts opened and associated fees collected. In 2020 and 21, almost 4 crore new DMAT accounts were opened which resulted in good improvement in its business and also optimism about its future. However, in 2022, the new DMAT account opening has slowed down and hence the business and sentiments towards the stocks has become dull. CDSL is a leader in its sector. Over the years, there is no doubt that the number of people investing in stock markets in India is going to significantly improve and hence its business is expected to benefit from this attraction to invest in financial assets that is stocks, bonds, etc. compared to physical assets such as real estate or gold. Now moving on to the third company, IRCTC. Last five quarter financials, 405 crores total sales, 
फाइव फोर्टी क्रोर्स सिक्स नाइन्टी वन क्रोर्स एट फिफ्टी थ्री क्रोर्स एट हंड्रेड सिक्स क्रोर्स नेट प्रॉफिट वन फिफ्टी नाइन क्रोर्स टू हंड्रेड नाइन क्रोर्स टू हंड्रेड फोर्टीन क्रोर्स टू फोर्टी सिक्स क्रोर्स टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स क्रोर्स सो द सेल्स ग्रोथ हैज बीन गुड एंड इट हैज बीन इम्प्रूविंग ऑलमोस्ट एवरी क्वार्टर एंड ऑल्सो द नेट प्रॉफिट हैज बीन डूइंग क्वाइट वेल इट हैज बीन ग्रोइंग ऑन अ क्वार्टर टू क्वार्टर बेसिस Except for the last quarter, that is July to September 2021, when the sales and profit had fallen compared to the previous quarter, but overall it has been good. ISCTC is a monopoly created by the government. Its business will keep growing until it has competition. It may get negatively impacted if and when government allows competition in its sector. As you know, generally public sector units have a poor long-term record in Indian stock markets. So far IRCTC is an exception and it has done quite well for its investors. If it manages to create wealth for investors in the long term it will be a rare PSU company. Currently government owns around 62% in IRCTC. If it decides to sell more stake to raise money for welfare schemes then the stock will continue to stay under pressure since there will be huge supply of shares. This is one negative of IRCTC and we need to be careful about this. Although IRCTC's fundamentals seem good there will always be some uncertainty since it depends heavily on government policies and decisions we have presented some facts and figures about these three companies it is your decision to consider them and also to do further research so that you can come to a conclusion on whether to buy hold or sell these stocks our idea is to make you do further research our idea is to do some research on behalf of you and the rest the decision has to be yours and if you would like us to make such videos then type in the comment section saying more videos so that we will know that you like such research based videos thank you for watching this video bye bye and all the best